Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today, once again, I'm going to be stamping my nails. I know how much you guys like uh, when I stamp my nails, so why not? Um, today, I'm going to be using this Creative Shop 104. It's a beautiful plate. Now, this is one of my oldest plate, and let me just show you. Uh, I think the design that I'm going to use for today's many, I'm going to use this part right here, maybe, and this, I think, if I don't change my mind. <laughs> um, so, it's a beautiful plate, and I love it, and I will try to leave a link for you guys. Also, I'm going to be using this white stamping polish from Born Pretty Store. Um, the reason why I'm using a white is because I'm, I have this. And it's pretty dark now if you're wondering what I have on my nails I apply a black base and then I top it with this born pretty store uh, flakies and it's called for it's from the magical series uh, m008 uh, raging fire I don't know if you guys still can find this I'm gonna try to find a link for you guys for everything um, now I have these two clear stampers and they're not so clear. They're kind of cloudy because they're old. These are my favorite, favorite uh, stampers. Uh, now these are not available. I already searched everywhere and nope, couldn't find them anywhere. Um, so these are, like I said, my favorite. And I also love, love, love this Big ba uh, Beauty Big Bang uh a scraper is just perfect at least for my for myself this is this is just perfect when I stamp all right you guys so like I said uh, we're gonna go ahead and start stamping my nails when I'm done with my mani I will come back and show you the final result and I hope you guys enjoy it so let's go ahead and get started yeah
Alright you guys, before I continue, I just wanted to mention something. Um, so when I was using the Born Pretty Stores uh, stamping polish, um, it was, I don't know, it's super thin, so I tried Nicole's Diary and it's more opaque. So I will, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp with the Nicole's Diary over this again, just to make it completely opaque, because I don't know if you guys can still see some of the stamping under um, so just wanted to mention that also when, um, this is something I said it before on some of my videos, but you know, there's always new people coming to see my videos. So that's why I want to mention it. Uh, make sure that you always clean your scraper, um, because that can give you problems. Also, um, whenever you have like thick lines, the etching is kind of dip, kind of deep, um, Make sure that you wait a couple seconds before you actually stamp it on your nails. Otherwise, it's going to look kind of smush when you actually stamp it. And it's not so pretty. Um, see, you guys, um, this uh, Nicole's Diary, I feel like, is more thicker. So it looks way better. Um, but anyways, yeah, make sure you give it a couple seconds before you actually stamp it. Otherwise, when you stamp it, it's going to look all smush. That's what happened on my pinky nail. I don't know if you guys know what it is or not. So what I did since I had this uh, nail polish for a while, and I knew it was completely dry, so I was like, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab some alcohol and a wipe and wipe the uh, stamping polish, and it actually worked. Instead of, like, you know, polishing my whole nail again. So yeah, you guys. So... Right here, I'm going to use this with the uh, Nicole's Diary. I feel like it's more opaque because it's like a it's thicker. And okay, so let me just show you. Whenever you don't clean your scraper, it creates lines because it's, the scraper is not clean. So like I said, it's going to give you problems. So make sure you clean your stamper if you don't want to run into this kind of problems. And don't scrape so hard because you don't want to get rid of all the polish in there on the image. Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp this over. And it looks way better. Hope you guys can see that. So I'm going to do my other nail and then I'm just going to go ahead and top coat and then I'll be back to show you guys but for now let me just keep on doing this so you guys can see how easy it is to kind of fix sometimes you got to change the stamping polish so that's another problem that sometimes I run into and all I got to do is change my stamping polish and that will take care of the problem so yeah that looks good and this one I did the white and then I stamp with black over and it also looks pretty good. So that's my final result. I hope you guys like it. Let me go ahead and clean my cuticles and top coat and then I'll be back. Hey you guys, so this is how my Manny looks. I think it looks really nice. I really like it. These are kind of expensive looking <laughs> nails. Uh, so the only thing, I'm going to apply some cuticle oil so they don't look dry around my cuticles because with all that acetone uh your cuticles can look pretty bad dry so overall i love this plate it's so pretty you guys um now the edging on this plate is also really good so i'm gonna leave some pictures at the end of the video i also want to do a couple more swatches for you guys that way you guys can see how well this um stamper work so that's what we're gonna do and then i'm just gonna go ahead and go um i do want to thank you guys for watching my videos whoever you are thank you so much so let me just go ahead and grab my stamper and these uh stamping plates are so good quality look you guys look how beautiful these stamp um so let's do this one right here. This is so pretty. So 
pretty, you guys. Um, some roses. And the quality is so good. Um, I want to show you guys. Um, let me go ahead and clean. And let me just grab another color. So let me just grab this right here. Wait, I need to clean my scraper. And you also can use this this way. It's not going to be perfect because this is just to show you guys. Um, oops, I missed a tip. Well, anyways, you guys can stamp that and then and then you guys can um, let me just clean. Grab this. Mm, I'll do this flower. I like this flower. You guys can My scraper is not clean. I can so pick up that flower and then stamp it over that pink color. You guys see how pretty that was and easy. So definitely recommend this plate. Also, uh, let me just show you guys. I like showing you guys. I don't. I don't know everything, uh, but definitely I know a lot of things. And you guys, I get really excited to show you guys. So whenever you have an image like this, um, let me just show you. You can grab your, in this case, I'm going to be using pink. Just put pink on the flower. And then you guys can do green. Okay. And... Scrape, and then pick up your image, and then I'm just going to go ahead and stamp it right here so you guys can see. How perfect is that, and how easy it was. Since it's a solid um, image, you can actually do this. So yeah, uh, so I just, you know, just wanted to show you guys a couple of things, and like I said, I wanted you guys to see how beautiful this plate is i love creative shops uh stamping plates they are very very good quality you guys even the ones with thin lines like this one look how perfect that is so yeah you guys other than that i have nothing else to say um i hope you guys like this uh video i really enjoy creating on my nails it's just sometimes i get busy with life doing stuff and that's why I don't upload like I have, I'm supposed to. Um, but yeah, you guys, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye, you guys. Bye.